Hey YouTube, in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to add a MIDI keyboard and also I'm going to show you how to reduce lag here in FL Studio. So the first thing you want to do is open up FL Studio. For some reason my computer is being a little slow. Alright, and then what you want to do is you want to go up to the options tab up here, press options, go down to MIDI settings, alright, and as you can see I have nothing in here for the input. So now you want to plug in your MIDI keyboard. And then what you want to do is you want to go through and try to search for your keyboard. If you don't have one here, um, then you would need to go up here to Generic Controller if you don't have any of these brands. Alright. And then click Rescan MIDI Devices. Alright. So I found mine right here. And yes, I'm using a cheap key station 61E because I have an Axiom 49 but for some of the things that I do I need the extra keys without trying to pay too much money and so once this is up here you want to click enable alright and now it says it's active so if you can look at this uh, orange thing up here you'll see that it's blinking every time I press a key alright so to test this now we would open up anything that would use a keyboard and for those of you who don't know this is Ad Adderall Orchestral it's a really good um, VST alright so that works now say you plugged it in and you have a lot of lag. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to fix that now. So basically you would click up at the options and you would go down to audio settings. So press that. And then here you'll see like your sound drivers. You know it doesn't matter if you're on your primary or whatever. But um, yeah, so you click there. And then down here by buffer lane yours is most likely set here in the middle. Or so, so there's there's gonna be some lag. That was probably maybe a half a second lag between the time I pressed the key. And obviously, the higher up, the better audio quality, but the longest lag. All right, and then the further down, the worse quality. So what you want to do is um, you want to find like the perfect uh, area for yours um, and every computer is different. So mine would be somewhere at the 50 range. Alright, so uh, that's about it. So if you have any questions or anything, please leave a comment below. I'll go back through and I'll explain anything to you guys. If you guys want to know how to get the orchestral, um, basically just subscribe to my channel and then PM me and I can send you this uh, VST. It's really good. Like all the sounds are pretty nice. Let's see. Um, solo strings. You have violence. And then you have uh, your brass. And then the like the quieter you go, it's all mute. And then when you go loud, it's all kind of tight but anyways I'm tired I'm about to go to sleep but uh, subscribe rate and uh, I'll send you this uh, plug-in right here I use it now more than uh, 
the purity VST that I've always used in every remake I've done so uh, if you have any questions or something's not going right for you comment and I'll help you out with that thanks bye